called the hellbow slit. Hell on your elbow. What they don't mention is it also is not the easiest on your legs. So I'm not going to candy coat it. This is not an easy one. Okay. Um, even if you have a split on the ground, this one requires a lot of active flexibility, a lot of compression to be able to get into that foot grab. Okay. So this one is on spinning pole. Can you do it on static? Probably. I have zero interest in it because I feel like it's hard enough on spin. Um, the centripetal force of the spin definitely makes, you know, pulls you into the elbow, makes that leg come out a little bit more. If you really want to and you're glutton for punishment, go ahead and try it on static. I'm going to stay on spin. So for this one, we're going to start from a climb and a few things to talk about with elbow position on this. Um, first and foremost, when you do start this, start low, only go like maybe a climb up. So, you know, just in case everything doesn't end up magically quite how you envisioned in your head, you're right there. Safety first. Okay. When you go to hook the elbow for the start on this one, you want to make sure that you don't just bring your elbow to the pole, but instead, similar to how you would when you're setting up an Aisha, you want to scoop the elbow. So when you go to place your elbow, you're going to go slightly up above your shoulder line, slightly up, and then scoop down, okay? And what that's going to do, it's going to help grab all that sensitive little bitty bits of skin right there and grab a hold of them, but it'll help keep you on the pole better. So elbow placement there. As I said too, you want to make sure the elbow is not right at shoulder, just a little bit above. Placement for the bottom arm. How far away to put it? So this is going to vary person to person because shockingly, our bodies are all different. I have pretty long arms. Um, someone who has shorter arms might end up with less of a space because they have to get that push and pull. I have, like I said, significantly longer arms than probably the average bear. Um, blessing on a curse, not always a good thing. Um, so you might not have the same space and the same distance in your arms as it looks like I do. But kind of rule of thumb, similar to how I think of usually getting into like an aerial handspring preparation position, is from this climb position that we're going to be getting into, wherever your knees are, I think of putting my hands roughly there. Okay. And like I said, that's going to vary a little bit. It's not going to be exact, but I think sometimes people think, well, my knees are there. So my hand needs to be above it. I find for me with a lot of these bracket hold things, the placement where my hands need to be, I need to open my knees just a little bit. My hand's going to be somewhere right about in there. Okay. So we've talked about the hand placement things. Now let's talk about the legs. So here's the super funsies part. It's going to take a lot of flexibility opposite hand to leg. So if you're hooking your right elbow, that means you're going to be grabbing your left leg. Okay. And you definitely can bend the leg bringing up. I would highly recommend it because otherwise it's really hard to grab it because it can be too far away and you can't let go of the pole, but you have to be able to, while staying in this bracket position, bring this leg up compressing and then grab a hold here. Okay. And the grab is going to go thumb towards your face, whether you grab in a cup hold or wrap your thumb is personal preference. Um, cause once again, the centripetal force is kind of pushing your leg into your hand. Once you do get that grab, sometimes I wrap my thumb. Sometimes I don't, um, I don't really feel much of a difference. I just sort of sometimes happen to it. Sometimes don't, and I don't feel like it makes a huge difference for me, but I am also pretty comfortable with a lot of cup grips. So if you prefer the thumbsy wrap, go for it. Okay. So getting that leg, it's a lot of compression. Okay. Some of you may already have it. Some of you might need to work towards this move. So if you go to try this move and you're like, I can do a split on the ground, no problem. Why can I not grab my leg? Passive and active flexibility are very different. A lot of people can passively, you know, in a split on the ground, gravity is helping them. In this one, gravity is not your friend, okay? So you're gonna have to be able to stay in this bracket. Think about bringing your knee up to your chest. That will help with our compression versus if you try to bring your leg up more straight or lift from your foot, it's going to make it a lot harder. Okay. Think about pulling your belly button to your spine, bringing your knee to your chest. And then that last little bit where you have to kind of extend the leg just a little to be able to grab it with your hand. Okay. So if it turns out that this move is not quite happening at the end, I'm going to show you a couple little exercises that you can do to kind of help strengthen and build to make this happen, okay? It won't necessarily happen overnight. Remember, this stuff is hard, okay? Okay, so getting into our elbow split. Grippy points, elbow, hand, right? 
So I'm going to start from a climb, little baby climb, and I'm going to sit my butt down, which I found for me. And I'm sure there are other setups for this. I haven't tried any of the other ones. If you have some, send them to me. I'd love to hear them, see them. Um, but to sit my butt down in this climb helps me lock my elbow in and get into the preparation to find my bracket. Okay. So starting from a climb, I'm going to hook that elbow and sit my booty down. I'm gonna find that bracket placement of my bottom arm and then last but not least, grab that leg using my butt on that back leg to really extend. And then when I'm ready to come out, release the leg, come back into your climb, okay? So a lot of compression to bring the front leg back. Once you have that, I actually find the back leg extension feels like a walk in a park after grabbing that front leg. But the back leg, it's that glute engagement to extend it. But that's also, once again, where the spin of the pull helps you out a little bit because it does help kind of pull your leg away, okay? So those are the steps. Climb, sit your butt down so your thighs are parallelish. Hook the elbow slightly higher than your elbow. Make sure there's a little scoop to it. Bottom hand goes slightly between your knees. Find that push and pull so you can find that bracket with your elbow. When you feel like it's relatively solid, compress, compress like you've never compressed before to bring that leg up, thumb towards your face, grab that leg, icing on the cake, last little bit is extend the bottom leg away. So what if you go through all these steps and you can't grab your leg? What do you do? You keep working on it. Okay, so here's some exercise that can really help with this. These, um, you can use a block for these and that can kind of be helpful because it keeps you honest, but you're gonna stand with your back against a wall, the pole, whichever. A way to really keep yourself in check on this one and make it extra hard is take a yoga block, put it horizontal and put it behind your back knee, but you don't have to. What you do wanna do is make sure that you're staying flat to the wall. And when I say flat, that doesn't mean my feet have to be next to it. You can have your feet out just a little bit so you don't fall over, you know, cause otherwise you lift your leg and you might, Let's not do that. So I'm going to stand with my back against the pole flat. Think about pulling up nice and tall. The initiation of your compression is coming from your pelvic floor, which is connected very much so to your psoas muscle, which is essential for finding this compression, this lift. So think about pulling your belly button to your spine. You're going to try to stand up nice and tall. Bring your knee up as high as you can without bending your bottom leg. Hold, 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 and then down. Okay, so start with just bend leg, okay? Don't even try to straighten it, okay? If it feels like those are challenging, um, stick with the bent leg for a while. You can even challenge yourself a little bit more. Take a massage ball or a yoga block and hold it here until your leg comes up and then challenge yourself to see how long you can hold it. Once those start to feel like, okay, I can do five of them in a row and I'm getting some compression, start adding an extension at the end, okay? So still start with compress, compress, compress and then exhale, extend. If you're holding a ball or something, try to squeeze it and then control the lowering down, okay? Just start with like maybe three to five on each side. Focus on quality over quantity. And the standing up nice and tall is really important, okay? If you're getting that leg up there, but it's like this, you're not engaging the right muscles, okay? So this is the elbow splits. I hope it doesn't make your life hell and I hope instead it is a fun challenge try this one out like i said don't give up if you're not able to get that foot grab at all add those little exercises into your warm-ups your training for a few weeks you'll get there okay definitely does take flexibility specifically active flexibility okay so play around with it put it in a combo put it in a photo shoot do it for funsies whichever let me know how it goes